<laughs> well, here you go. See, stunt stunties. I'd rather I'd rather have three dice with mighty blow than three dice with block tackle. But never mind. Um, this is probably going to be horrible, isn't it? Because he's <laughs> he's going to have a lot of mighty base, blow. Base, base. This won't fail. I'm on the right. Burr, burr, burr. Where are his ogres? Block guard, break tackle. He hasn't skilled the ogres very much, has he? Where are they? What the? Who the fuck does this? Right, there's an ogre. Block guard, break tackle. There's armor eight ogre. The fuck is that? Grab. Ogre. Rookie ogre. Rookie ogre. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, he's got all six. Three re-rolls. He's got a very good record with uh, ogres. Anybody would be proud of that record with ogres. Um, yeah, exactly nose dive. Fucking, there's no need to organize, organize their team like that, is there? Holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> A sick and depraved man. Who would do that? <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, to be fair, Tony. Yeah. <laughs> Tackle is unlikely to do anything this game, to be honest. I think Mighty Blow would have been better this game. Straight up. Straight, I'm not bullshitting. I, think that my, I would much rather have Mighty Blow this game than Tackle. I'd never want Tackle, really. Against Amazons, I guess. Against fully blodged Amazons, tackles better, and fully blodged what else are dark elves. But you know, if I'm playing, I'm going to lose against them anyway. One tackle ain't going to make any difference. So it was, I, I instantly regretted the tackle there. Why is my, isn't my time running down? Can you see this? Is the stream dead? It's stuck on three minutes, right? Thank you. I can't click on anything. I can click on end turn, but I can't move my players. I mean, I can't. I can't defend like this. You can be my wingman anytime. Thanks for the holes, Zagini. You can be mine. Aha! It was some weird bug. Okay. It was just some weird bug. Alright. <laughs> Fucking hell. I was pretty scared then for a for a second. It's typical. I haven't seen it before ever, to be honest. I've never seen it before. Yeah, skip the cinematics of the pitch instead of the ref. Yeah, but I've never seen it before, honest. As you can tell by my panicked, <laughs> my panicked response. <laughs> I guess, look, I guess tackle is better than Mighty Blow. Mighty Blow is just relying on dice. For winning games, tackle's better, sometimes. Winning the tough games, or drawing the tough games, tackle, 
might matter. Maybe. And it does mean the wrestle guy can go wrestle frenzy. So it was, it was you know, the, the frenzy wasn't an option for the block guy. The wrestle guy had to go wrestle frenzy or wrestle tackle frenzy. Um, but I want a frenzy as soon as possible. So a wrestle frenzy. And if I had wrestle frenzy and a block mighty blow, that's a bit shit. But having a wrestle frenzy and a block tackle gives us two players that can that can do stuff against elves. Yeah, the mighty blow clog. I took loads of games to get. To be fair, he's had loads in the last few games. Once he got his first cards, he's been he's been flying. He's got like. 12 star player points in about fucking three games. Yeah, that's true, Jam Toast. That's true. Rackle Frenzy, probably death. He's unlikely to get more than that, isn't he? Three, three skills is a lot. Um... Maybe he's not going to play. Settle for that, holy shit. He's running out of time. <laughs> I just think skilling up faster would have been better. Like, it's obviously going to be better in close game. Well, maybe though, but just having another mighty blow to hit on the LOS against elves is good, isn't it? They don't all have blood. Maybe the opponent closed again when it froze at the start, too. Yeah, maybe. Oh, VIP by cakes. Uh, yeah, it looks like he's going to, doesn't it? Running out of time. Oh. He's run out of time. Hmm. Oh, man, don't say he's... Don't say he's trolling me. Hopefully not. Hasn't connected. Oh, so maybe that's why. That's why the setup. Maybe that's why the setup then went like that then before the kickoff, eh? Yeah, I guess I can try to farm touchdowns on the block tackle guy. Yeah, try to farm tackle. Try to farm star player points on block tackle touchdowns. Obviously, the movement guy wants to score anyway. But if I can get touchdowns on the block tackle, yeah, I hadn't joined the game yet. So yeah, that's that's it. So maybe that's why that's why I saw that other screen then. Because it's so narrow, and I can't... Oh, man, I, I never understood why Jelly will say stuff like that when I can't fucking, you can't fucking hear my response. Holy shit. <laughs> Grinds my gears. <laughs> but for the benefit of people watching on YouTube, and not Jelly will, who's saying it, um, yeah, that's it. It's just so narrow, isn't it? It's so essential. That's why I hate it, because it's so essential. It's so essential, and yet it's so crap most of the time. Ah, oh, I always fear I don't have enough tackle. Yes, exactly. That's why I fucking hate it. Holy shit! <laughs> right, guard in the middle is good, isn't it? And then, can I block and blitz and retreat? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. So he has to. He has to go here, doesn't he? Right, block tackle can go near the ball. Right, so he blocks him on two dice. And he comes in for the assist, he comes in for the assist.
and then he goes one, two, three, four, five, six. Should be safe. E two D's him. I maybe could just hit with block, but I'd really like to mighty blow him, wouldn't I? <laughs> Cause it's good and not crap like tackle. If I go one square back, one, two, three, four, five, six. I guess that's good enough, isn't it? Block him. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. There's going to be a screen there and he's going to be all right. So yeah, that's okay. And then similarly, he can be there. All right. I don't hate it. Who's on the bench? Just a zero. Yeah. Kill one and he concedes. Yeah, that'd be pretty good, wouldn't it? I guess I should have blitzed the grab guy, not the rookie, but never mind. No one's perfect, eh? Good job, hit with block. Oh man, check me out here. Look, safe moves first. Looking outrageous. Oh yeah, got him. Rerolling this block is more important than rerolling the pickup, isn't it? So, got him. Strand them on a rookie beastman seems good. Oh god, Kazingham is even better. <laughs> Get banged on. Oh, it's the armor A one. He put him on the LOS. Mad bastard. Does he even have an apple? He doesn't even have an apple. Oh, God. Glorious. Pick up don't matter, does it? Unless he, unless he just scores. If he rolls a nine, brilliant. Maybe I should have re-rolled that actually, eh? Because what if he just lobs a snotling and picks it up and scores? I feel pretty bad. But I want to hit with Claw Mighty Blow seven more times, don't I? So. Yeah, the ball floats on the uh, on on the uh, when there's no grass because I guess it sits on the grass and the grass is really high. Hmm. Poor beast man. I watched the uh, I watched the GSP one, Squirrel Dude. Thank you. Um, but yeah, the wrestling one was on for a long time, wasn't it? So I didn't I didn't get the chance to watch that. I shall try to watch it tonight. It's just tough with all the uploading and doing other stuff. Um, take tackle, kill an ogre, turn one. <laughs> yeah, coincidence. Hello, Muldy. Um, if I had to remove one skill from the game, um, I guess like diving catch because no one would care. I only saw the end, uh, last Rogue Man. The Squirrel Dude sent me the finish. Uh, I didn't get to see the fight, unfortunately. I would have, I would have watched it 
if I didn't have to upload to YouTube forever. Pretty, pretty great, yeah? All right, I'll, I'll watch it, I'll watch it. It did last a while, didn't it, so I didn't get the chance. I mean, the tackle, you're a lot safe. It, to be fair, you're a lot better on offense with tackle against dodgy teams. Because if they do, like, base the ball with a blodge stepper or whatever, you're going to fuck off, man. All right, he's a rookie. He's got to die, unfortunately. Unfortunately, he has to die. Um... Oh, he's... He's, he's based him. He's hooked up. Base, base, based. Um, all right, I'll re-roll it if it's a ball down. Fuck it. All right. <laughs> okay, here comes the tackler. Mighty Blow would have done the same thing. Mighty Blow would have still just been a knockout. I guess it's so easy to base the ball, maybe I should pick up with a block guy. And you should, it's kind of easier to get minus two dice on the ball as well, isn't it? So the tackler could really have picked it up then. He's rusty. <laughs> Car was a brutal foul, wasn't it? Good job, got twelve players. <laughs> that was a clever move, wasn't it? I should have moved him back one to stop that. He seems he seems quite good, to be fair. This guy. Um, even though he doesn't got the apple. Um, and he kept a minus armor. Um, ogre. That was, that was a good little move, wasn't it? It was good earlier as well. Getting the three dice. So, good foul. Good tagging the mighty blow claw guy to stop him hitting an ogre. Double one. Chalk up a stun for the claw guy. Now, unfortunately, if I blitz him, which I have to, <laughs> I'm based by the snotling. But that's not so bad, is it? Oh. 
<gasps> that was meant to be the guard guy. Oh my god, I fucked it. That was meant to be the guard guy. Oh my god. Okay. Well. I guess it keeps him free, so it's not the end of the world. Right, so there's going to be three players left. I can't believe I've done this. Got to look at my sheet and remember to focus. Got a blitz on the mighty blow guy, hasn't he? Hmm. Do I re-roll this? I guess so. Break tackle, you can just block him, break tackle in, oh fuck's sake. Fucking idiot. Right, focus. That's going to be the number. I'm going to make a new bit of paper with focus on the top. Right. Forget. I'm just going to look at chat in my opponent. Oh, that's a good one. All right. All right. Focus is the number one thing. And then look at chat in opponent's turn. They're two really great things for helping me win. Mm, it's not really better than either team in the playoffs of Guinea. That's the thing. My blow is always a good pick. <laughs> yeah, it is. But now, well, now it's a new bit of paper, but yeah. Focus is number one. Number two. Number one is focus. Number two is safe moves first. Number three is don't get your wrestle guy left in base to base when you could have just dodged away. He's dead. He's got wrestle. I'm going to apple it. All right. Yeah, it's just in the playoffs, the Guinea. That's the thing. Yeah, in the playoffs, they did. They brought up the fix, yes. They did fix it for the playoffs, but that's neither here nor there, is it? The actual rule was horrific for the playoffs. In the ladder, it's not going to make too much of a difference, to be honest. I really like for having wrestle, but maybe it's a, not as much as I like having block guard or claw mighty blow. So on movement, so maybe I shouldn't have followed him.
<laughs> I need to have my uh, claw guy next to my tackle guy, don't I? Yeah, but they didn't want to use the proper rules, did they? For some fucking reason. Could follow. And then blitz him. Being able to tackle a uh, org is a very good ability, isn't it? This is getting pretty shit, isn't it? Having two guys dead and... Well, the one guy's only missing this game. But dead guy, KO guy, Apo gone. I mean, he's done a bunch of shitheads, but he doesn't care, does he? Better than getting knocked down with Mighty Blow, isn't it? No, it's not. No, it's not better than getting knocked down by Mighty Blow. Can't win this game, can I? This is the dicing against ogres of all teams. That is simply not true. The hater does not support your assertion. Pretty sad. Shouldn't have appled the rest of But it's unlikely if you don't like that you take more deaths, that's the thing. Like even if you whole team even if you take twelve cars, you only take like four deaths. It's like one in three for a, a cars to be a perm, isn't it? So it was unlikely to need it again. And then <laughs> Well, you know, the, the, him getting hit by Mighty Blow is why he died, right? This guy. So three three cars, three deaths. Well, no, three cars, three deaths. I bought one of them. Is pretty brutal. Get the win is... Uh, is asking a lot now, to be fair. Nine players for the second half, max. He's going to get the double LOS in. He might even get a one turn. It's going to snowball, isn't it? Because now the guard being out is actually one of the worst things, just being KO'd, because now it's that much harder to get two dice on ogres, isn't it? Yeah, ogres being ogres. It does happen sometimes, especially against teams like Chaos, isn't it? And that, that just can't really do much. 
they can't they can't exploit the weaknesses of ogres, can they? They've just got to, like, obviously they can uh, they can beat them up if your claw works. But um, if your claw doesn't work, you're in a bit of a pickle. I'm just going to go for the loss if I uh, fail here. That seems like a good strategy, Cotton. Maybe I should have blitzed him to get to safety. Two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, double GFI. All right. Let's go for the knockdown because he's got tackle. All right, tackle was good. But then I wouldn't have made the blitz, which might have been the better play. But let's see. Him having tackle might have got the claw mighty blow guy killed. Yeah, okay, that's that's a cas that the other guy wouldn't have got. Fail dodging to death? No. Good. That's the thing, that might have killed the Claw Mighty Blow guy, because now he's getting three dice blitzed into another three dice block. And uh can be pretty bad, can't it? Yeah, to be fair, he's got a, quite a few dead now, hasn't he? One, two, three, four, five. And he's got four reserves, so he's down he's he's got less than eleven. <sighs> okay, only two dice into a two dice. But still this tackle might have got the claw mighty blow killed. Let's find out. And you can't stop the Mighty Blow Blitz every turn, that's the thing. Against some teams, you can stop the Mighty Blow Blitz every turn. Here, it's hard to stop Mighty Blow Blocks every turn, isn't it? Like, even scoring on turn 8, he's getting, he's getting three Mighty Blow Hits in. So, it's still, it's still pretty far from a win. Still fouling. Makes sense to 20k. Get them, get them, just get them killed. Good shout. Nine would have break would have broken armor if it had been a good skill. Oh yeah, of course I'm going to keep playing then. I mean, the team isn't anywhere close to dead, is it? It's just annoying. It's just annoying to have the uh, the dead. Like, the dead rookie's okay. The, the dead warrior's annoying. But got 150k in the bank, so can can replace him, no problem.
Yeah, got to score turn here. Cover team 50%. <laughs> yeah, it is. One, two, three, four. Four, six versus four. Oh my god. No, it's five versus four. Yeah, good call. Another dead guy. Two dead warriors now. Now I've got a score because there's no choice. And the thing is, he's got reserves. That's the, that's the thing, isn't it? <laughs> Fucking ogres, man. Well, he would have just hit. He would have got more blocks, wouldn't he, Mister Yamanda? So it's uh, you can't really say that because you can't really judge judge on what happens with the dice, can you? Um, yeah, I guess I've got to just score here. Right, let's blitz with a mighty blow guy then. See if we can get a armor break with mighty blow. Oh, it wasn't an armor break. <laughs> yeah, it's it's not even dicing. It's just all ogres do this sometimes, don't they? Like that's the penalty for like losing every game against elves guaranteed. Almost is that against bash teams they get stuck on them, especially chaos who are armor eight and don't have block. Um, you know, chaos can certainly take a pounding. They do have the movement to run around a bit, but um, they're left pretty exposed against. Uh, against ogres aren't they holy shit Two, three, four, five. Yeah, okay. And how many he's got? He's got four, five, six, seven, eight. He's got eight, maybe nine. And I've got eight max. Wait, no, one, two, three, four, five. He's got nine, maybe ten. Okay. Yeah, two deaths. This was like minus movement, I think, and this was minus armor. Maybe he should have, but minus movement or minus agility are both what he needs to do wrestling things with. But maybe I should have saved it for him. I don't know. Seven, seven or eight. He's got a, he's got a uh, babe as well, so chances are he'll have ten for the second half. Big guy blocks first. <laughs> Mm. 
Yeah, warrior, in fact. The killer is two warriors dying in the same game, isn't it? Like Beastman, the Beastman dying wouldn't be so bad actually, so maybe I shouldn't have appalled him. But losing, being down a warrior is pretty bad. Maybe I'll save apples for the, uh, for the Beastman killer or the warriors. One, two, three, four, five, GFI, GFI. All right, so seven or eight for the second half. I guess he's gonna foul, might as well, seeing as he, seeing as he likes to foul. Got a chance of getting the concession in his head, hasn't he? Yeah, it's true, Mr. Yamadam. Yeah, I didn't think I'd ever get five. Yeah. If I blitz him, then uh, I can be counter blitzed. Probably not even worth it, is it? Didn't re-roll that 4 plus dodge that led to his death and then ended up with 3 re-rolls. So maybe should have re-rolled that dodge, eh? <laughs> yeah, that's true, BZO. Got it. No, I didn't. Oh, God. <laughs> what do I even do? How do I even defend against this? I really don't want my guys getting fucking hit by mighty blow with no nothing they can do about it. This at least concentrates the ogres if they want to hit them all, I guess. Is that something? Whoa. Killing the snotlings achieves nothing, though, Colonel West. That's the thing. Like, kill it. if all the snotlings were dead, it wouldn't stop my guys getting hit by a mighty blow, would it? If there is anything that you are used to, it is getting banged on. I'm beginning to think you like to get banged, you pervert. Yeah. It's, starting, it's only a four plus to pick it up. No, he's picking up with an ogre anyway. All right, excellent. Bigger fool him. Oh, that's nice of him to take an ogre away from the fight, isn't it? Yeah, they're not like lizards where obviously the lizards really risky to pick up the ball. He's got he's got you know, his guys don't have loan, he's fixed it up in the four, it's not that bad. He's gonna get fucking free dices in though. But then they might go stupid, you never know. Might fail a bonehead. He's failed a few, hasn't he, but no crucial ones. Oh, Clive! They can definitely, they can definitely win. 
they can dice bash teams, you know, like uh, particularly like Underworld, because Underworld get the disadvantages of Skaven without the without the gutter runners, don't they? Alright, oh, this is great. <laughs> and they're armor rate. I mean, they're an armor rate bash team, so it's not crazy, is it? Getting punched by a mighty blow every turn isn't isn't a recipe for survival. But then it all it all came all came unstuck because of that uh moving the guard guy the wrong square, wasn't it? I won't say it's a free claw mighty blow because he can't escape, can he? Endless fouls. Now I can't hit him. Shouldn't have done that first. I did save him his first. And it fucked me. See what Mighty Blow would have done. Would have been the same. Yeah, Ogres are definitely the worst Blood Bowl team. Would it? Was it an 8? I thought it was a 7. I'll check. Injuries are 7. So they've just gone up to 8. Maybe that's how he wins. Maybe all of his, maybe all of his uh, wins are by uh, by concession, you know. And that's why he just fouls all the time. And I mean, I'm not going to concede now because the damage is already done, isn't it? Can maybe go for the make a threat of the ball here. Maybe like blitz uh, blitz this snotling. Ah, well then there's, there's green dick. He's, he's not bad, is he? He's not bad. Guard in there, though, can two dice him. Which gets him out.
pretty rough, isn't it? Wow, really busy though. Holy shit. Why is he fouling so much? Isn't that weird? The Ogres do look like Harvey Weinstein. <laughs> they actually do. Distinct lack of gym pals from him. Ah, oh, two concede one. That makes sense. Three of their two of their three wins being from concessions. <laughs> Whoa, Pedro. Oh, imagine if the ball had gone in the crowd then. I'm getting the point where it's not even going to be possible to two dice this guy. And he can just dodge away. He's filled a lot of dodges, hasn't he, to be fair? Like two or three with snotlings is quite a lot. And they're all one in 36s. He only follows the stun players, yeah. He just wants to, I think he, I think going for the concede is a valid tactic with Olgas to be fair, so just fouling every turn and hoping your opponent concedes. It's the only way he's gonna win this game probably, isn't it? I mean even with with hardly any players it's gonna be hard for him to turn us over and get a second touchdown, so He's pretty good though, he's doing that, okay, not, not there. But he's doing the right things mostly. Well, you use them to control the field with their tackle zones. That's what I would do with MBZL, that's what I do. I very rarely foul with, with snotlings. Um, the snotlings even though it's a 1 in 36 out maybe I should agree to that eh? Christ this is rough <laughs>
Like, I don't even see how I'm gonna can stop him scoring here. It's gonna be incredibly difficult to even get a one dice on the ball. He's got block. And can't base him, can't double base him because he'll just break tackle away. And <laughs> meanwhile he's getting the three dice with Mighty Blow every turn, re-rolling it as well, because why not? Sure. <sighs> Christ. Pretty brutal. Pretty brutal. <laughs> Six cars. It looked so good as well with the turn one cars. And since then it's been uh, incredibly downhill. One's a badly hurt freak. Um, but yeah, that looks like it. Miss next game. Two miss next games. Why is just following an ogre? Fuck you. Well, like, fuck you if you're just going to foul with an ogre. Seriously, that's taking the piss. Fouling with the snotlings was one thing. <laughs> Fouling with the ogre, holy shit. One dice, pal. Oh, God. Two that before the one in 36 dodge. Why not? Maybe he's not even going to dodge. Maybe he's just going to get three dice by block. Maybe he thinks that's a better idea than making a one in 36 dodge. Makes sense that, doesn't it? One dice block before a dodge with, with agility four and dot. What the actual fuck is going on with this game? Okay, safe moves first. One for him. Mighty Blow would have made literally no difference at the moment. That's crazy. Hello, VIP Kurgle. <laughs> Hello, Ducky here. Yeah, that's that's how it works now.
But I mean, if you, it, to be fair, look, it's not that bad because if you thought he was going to scum a wizard, you could have scummed a wizard and then just given him a free chainsaw or whatever, which isn't as bad as him. Having, if you think that's worse, then you've got to weigh it up. I don't like that the overdog can spend anything anyway, to be honest. So. Yeah, thanks, Sage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if it's looking like that, isn't it? It's fucking looking like that. Oh, Sage isn't on, is it? I'll have to put Sage back on. That is the worst situation the current adjustment system allows. But, you know, the overdog getting a wizard to counter the underdog's wizard is a bit lame anyway, you know. I, I didn't like that. It, that cost me... That cost me uh, an OFL championship. But then it gave me the chance of winning one anyway, so... It's... No, he hasn't made many boneheads. Mind, he's only had four overs for most of the game. <laughs> so... At least he's not getting forward, really. The blitz and all good, but yeah, I guess blitzing the snotling's better at this point. Tackle getting the knockdown. So mighty blow wouldn't have made any difference again. Yeah, all right. Tackle's been tackle's been good now. Then at this point, can re-roll these now. Do I just go to here? I think so. Oh no, there, I can protect the tackle, eh? So the tackle's protected and the uh, claw's protected. Getting a little bit of hope now with only three turns left. Yeah, twice it was useful. And there, there was like three or four times Mighty Blow could have been useful, but wasn't. The Mighty Blow would have got an armor break on a on an ogre. And who knows what difference that would have made. Now he's making this push then. It did leave us a bit far over this side, but still. And that was good. See, he's done good blocks like that, isn't he? Pushing into extra blocks. He's boneheaded. Just need a turn of some boneheads. That's what you need, isn't it? Reroll that. He's out of rerolls. Double skulled. Oh man! If only I had a way to hit the ball carry. So three players could blitz him, and then three players could block him. What does that achieve? Maybe I should just hit another snotling. Maybe I should herb dirt base, base, base. Gotta knock this guy down, I think. Just because he's only got two turns, hasn't he? Snotling throw is maybe his best chance at the moment. But he's got a handoff to one. So yeah, okay, go, go for a snotling. Up, up, base, base, base. <laughs> Seems like a good shout. Oh, 
Kirk Kirk, Base Base Base, this won't fail, I'm on the right, Kirk Kirk Kirk. You can just blitz him and run forward, but then you've got to block him. Uh, half a chance. Yeah, this is Blood Bowl J5. Yeah, you can't win at least. You can just break tackle out, yeah. Yeah, you can just blitz, blitz the guard guy and then break tackle away. But still, he's got no re-rolls, so he can fail rolls now. He's got to make both bone heads at least. To score, he could, break, he could break tackle hand off, then the other one throws or something, but he's definitely not going to win at least. But yeah, this is the play, isn't it? Blitz that warrior and then, uh, and then break tackle away. But you know, you can feel the bonehead, you can feel the dodge. No, on on a mania, on a man, on a mania. But he can't catch a pass if he's boneheaded or intercept. It is, yeah, freak. It is. Yeah, you can just have him one in front, one behind, and then can't get the assist apart from that guard guy. Makes the break tackle, makes the really stupid, well not really stupid, bonehead, and makes the GFI. Fucking brilliant. Fails the second one. Oh yeah. And gets stunned. Oh yeah. So. This snotling's in range, and this snotling's in range. This warrior isn't. Up, up, base, base, base the ball. Oh, yeah, get banged on. Dodge away, screen the claw. Beautiful. Phew, thank god I won against Ogres. <laughs> Fucking hell. It was a pretty bad GG. Nah, I'd rather just dodge away. Because if you go uphill, you're getting hit by Mighty Blow, aren't you? Yeah, there's no need to foul. Yeah, beat the worst team in Blood Bowl. Yep, thanks, Tony. <laughs> but yeah, odds wise, the uphill is better than the uh, better than the dodge. Yeah. He <laughs> leveled him. Ooh, got him. And uh, I guess let's just foul him. Now that there's not a reroll, don't want to hit a uh, ogre. GG. I hope I kill your ogre. 
Fall for the hidden plus one. Oh, is there a snotling behind the... Oh, the shit. Victory. Yes, beat the worst team in Blood Bowl. In a closest match as you can get. 1-0 <laughs> down to the wire. <laughs> Fucking hell. Got 210 for the two warriors, so that's okay. No need to re-roll it. And yeah, he absolutely fucked us there, didn't he? I mean, to be fair, I got loads of Kaz on Snotlings, but he doesn't give a fuck about his Snotlings. He only inflicted four Kaz. <laughs> but what what Kaz they were. They were outrageous. Ten <laughs> sixty. <1060. laughs> oh dear. Alright, flat fart levels though. Let's see. I ah, probably mighty blow. Almost certainly mighty blow. And uh To be honest I'm tempted to go block there just for the reliability. I don't know. No oh, Adge, can't take Adge. Block or piling on anyway. Um, right, so I'm going to end the YouTube video here and then uh, think about you know who to replace and what skills to pick and do the raffle and everything. So, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.